Good morning YouTube. I'm in the garden today. I've got my M kettle by Gilly Kettle and I'm going to show you an accessory that I made for it. Right, here it is. The M kettle. It's got your stopper. Let's put that somewhere safe. There's a lot of churches around here, a lot of bells. So you'll have to put up with that. There it is. It's a stainless steel ring that I made for it. Now you may be thinking, what is that about? Well, I'll show you. When you're out and about, this base is very narrow. So if you're not on a very even sort of slope, very even piece of ground, it's got a tendency to topple over. Here is my ring. Who are misses? Let's put this in here. Now, it's a nice firm base. Those tabs steady it. Fits in there perfectly. Let's try something. Ooh. Let's try the tilt test. That's pretty good. Let's try it normally. So that shows that's a lot more steady than normal. So that seems to work. I've left a gap there so you can get the wind through. This is pierced anyway, so it would still draw air, but we don't want to block it off any more than we have to. So that's how we're going to use it. And we're going to use my little pound shop water bottle, heavy duty spirit burner, which cost me 99 pence and about an hour to make. Pretty simple. Right, let's try it. Oop, gone a bit far there, I went over the holes. That'll do. Fits nicely in the bottom. Have I got a lighter? Yeah. Yep, let's go in. Okay, and let's put some water in the kettle. That's almost full. There's my phone, let's get a timer going. Right, the methylated spirits is burning well. Let's put this on. Start a little timer. Let's see how long it takes to boil this. We're on. Five minutes. Oh, my glasses have steamed up. Five minutes, 51, and it's boiling over. Let's call it five minutes, 55. I don't know if you can see that. Five minutes, and we've got a good rolling boil. Not bad at all. And the best bit is, Look at that. I can pick it up. It's still going strong. But I can pick it up because the vented holes, all the perforations keep this cool, so that's good. Oop. Let's make a coffee. And I'll show you some other features blow that out. All right, take this off. This is cool. We can now turn it into a stove. It's 
squeeze this, put it inside, and it locks itself into that lip. You want to put a cooking pot on it. A Nalgene bottle. A Nalgene bottle fits just right. So you could cook with a Nalgene bottle if you wanted to. I don't know why you would want to because you've got a twin walled kettle, but there you go. Here you are. This is a Lixada stainless. 10 centimeter diameter. That fits on it. You can cook with that. Cook up your food. What's this? Solar kettle. Fits on the top. Again, cook your food in it. 14.5 centimeter zebra. So there's no real problem with using any different type of pot on it. This is 12.5 centimeter diameter. You know? So anything will work. Now let's cook some food. This is what I eat when I'm out and about. If I need something easy, I'm not gonna be messing about. A bit of spam or a bit of cheap pretend spam. Pork and ham, nice bit of protein, bit of fat. And some spicy chili rice for your carbs. If you're out hiking all day, you just want a hot meal, this is what I use. Got a knife, my everyday Harry, made by me. Put a bit of fat and protein in. I bloody love spam. Honest, I can just sit here and eat the whole tin. Love it. Mm, I've gone over to handheld mode now. The spam, let's put that on to cook. I'm gonna have to try and do all this one handed so that I can give you some decent camera angles. But let's get that cooking. Pour a bit of water in for the rice. I'm only warming the spam through. A bit of Uncle Ben's, let's throw a bit of this in. Good old Uncle Ben. Ooh, that's boiling away. There you have it. Spam and spicy chilli rice. Cooked in the zebra pot. We've got a bit of warm water for washing up. It works. It works absolutely fine. Just how I wanted it, wanted it to, really. Look at that. Oh. Well, that works. That works absolutely fine. And it's cooled down already. Look at that. Nice and firm. You can pick it up with it. Take it out. And if you don't finish all your lunch and meat, Bam. Make some twists in the tin. With your pair of pliers if you've got them. And you can refit the top of the can like a lid. Put it in your pack and you can eat it later. <laughs> mm. 
Oh. That's lovely. Quick and easy trail food. See you next time.